Welcome everybody. We are here today to talk about a more of a traditional rig and, and it's a little bit more forgotten about the running Paternoster. So um, obviously the original one was fixed and with modern day um, rules and regulations now it needs to be a free running rig. So this is my little adaptation for that. So when do I use this rig? This time of year, it's winter, it's freezing, the water's really, really clear, and the fish tend to back off. I really like using this at between sort of 16 and 18 meters. It's far enough away um, for the fish to kind of settle on a little bit of feed, but also close enough to be able to feed, loose feed over the top. So for example, fishing for everything that swims, loose feeding maggots, just over the top of this running pat It can be absolutely brilliant sport this time of year, and like I said, catches you anything that swims. Let's have a look at this rig. Okay, so here it is. Here's the, the running Paternoster rig. Um, just attached directly to the main line. What I've got here is five pound um, optimum map line going right through. I tend to fish a little bit lighter just so that I have that, that finesse this time of year. But the most important thing is, obviously, regardless of your main line, because you can use it in many different ways, regardless of your main line, is a nice, easy running rig that goes through like so. So as you can see there, it runs through really, really nicely, nice and straightforward, okay? And what it does is it just kicks out the boom here and means that you can attach your hook length to that loop there and obviously fish whatever length of hook length you want. Dead straightforward. Let's have a little look and see how we tie it up. Here we go. Take whatever your main line is, so just for, for the sake of purposes, my main line is optimum power okay i use it in five pound for this kind of stuff for sort of smaller silver bream um, roach you know stuff like that Any, anything anything that swims something that's a bit more delicate than say um, the o20 that i'll probably use in uh, or, or bigger when it comes around to the uh, normal sort of summer method feeder kind of stuff so you've got your main line nice and nice and straightforward and the first thing you're going to do is pop your quick length level on there now, there's loads of these out on the market and it, it comes down to personal preference, really. So we pop that onto your main line, like so, and we can slide that out of the way. Now, the ones I'm using, um, I actually prefer the Waggler Link Swivels. Okay, by map, they just run up and down really, really nicely. And what I like is the, is the curved um, bottoms where it's quick release as well just here which is really quite nice obviously they also do the feeder link swivels and sometimes if it's like you know really difficult and they're a bit smaller a bit more secretive I might decide to use those so once I've got out of the line and I'm gonna put a line stop on so once again and um, from map these just a simple line stops the rubber line stops they come available in small and large. So again, for this, I just need a small one. So what we do is we pop that on to your main line. I'm gonna slide that up just out, out of the way, nice and easy. Okay, so what we've got there, I'll just show you main line. I'll get that in focus. Okay, main line and sliding like a long swivel. It just comes down, hits that stop nice and easy. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to make a nice big leap. I'm just going to fold over the main line. It's about a foot long, something like that. And all I'm going to do then is holding the line together, okay, like I've done there just to make, wet it a little bit and make a new loop. Okay, so you can see that, hopefully. And I'm just gonna put this through three times. One, two, three. Okay, I'm just gonna wet it again as I pull that down nice and tight. Okay, like so. So all we end up then is just created basically 
another big big loop in the line maybe a great big loop down to that knot so what I'm going to do then I'm going to get the tag end and I just want to trim that off okay make sure you dispose of your line responsibly it's really important so there we go nice big loop and what I'm going to do then is I'm going to slide that stop down to that knot like that and you can see then now it just sits beautifully on that knot like so okay perfect so what I'm going to do I'm going to the other end of my loop or just hold it onto the loop sorry and I'm just going to cut the loop essentially okay so just by the knot nice and close so what I've done now is I've, I've doubled that length of line okay and this is going to be the my boom so I'm going to want this about six to six to eight inches at the most so I'm just going to find that point on the loop like that I'm going to make a, a leap I'm just going to do it a figure of eight overhand loop now the, the loop this is to attach my hook length to I like to leave this loop quite big just because it stops from spinning so much when you're retrieving all the time it also makes it nice and easy to change your hook length as well which is quite good I'm going to pull that nice and tight just trim off the tag end okay so there we go I'm just left now with my stop sitting on the knot that I created nice little boom and then a nice loop about six to eight inches long so the swivel link just slides down to that and then onto the loop okay now what happens is now even before I put any weight on that you can see okay so you can just see there how the stop just kicks off the loop okay which is where my hook length will be nice and easy so all I need to do then is add my my um, running pattern so I, I just make these essentially so what essentially I've got is um, some some thicker line so this is eight pound okay just so it's nice and sturdy and, and a little bit sort of stiff a nice overhand loop in one end okay which you can see there quite easily yeah there we go um, and about three inches something like that about three inches on another quick link swivel onto whatever weight I'm using so in this case just a nice light bomb and that just means then that I've got lots of interchangeable options so on my link swivel on my main line here all I need to do is just open it out pop my my boom on it close it up again there we go so you can see now if I hold on to that there we are I've got my sliding Ta -da! sliding pattern oster rig nice and simple and again if I let go of that you can see especially with that weight on you can see how it kicks it out kicks it out here nice and clear so the hook length then can be attached to that nice and long and that just means that I've got that l l lack of resistance but great great bite detection that's that's the whole the whole idea that's straightforward so anything else I would change um, obviously if I just want to change the, the bomb and um, I can obviously whip that off like so and I can put on a smaller one if I want to something that's even more inconspicuous and light okay same as before everything kicks out really really nicely which is absolutely beautiful okay uh, the other thing is if I could pop a, a feeder or something on it if I wanted to if you wanted to try a little feeder now it depends on what on what you want to do you know to be fair um, but got a bit of a range here um, ten things I tend to use on there is things like maggot feeder, um, nice little uh, cage feeder, as you can see as well there. And I actually got one already attached to that. Look, another one of on my booms, so it just sits 
perfectly like that, which is quite nice. So again, I can swap that and change that if I want. And then I've got some little, just miniature maggot feeders. Now these have also got little booms on them already, so it makes it nice and easy to deal with. Okay, so you can see them there, with those little booms on, which is great. Um, and then again, sort of very small miniature cage feeders. So one with a boom on there, look, and one without. There you go. So you can see that. Just Again, just really, really, if you just want like a little, I quite often just pop a little bit of ground bait in that. It's only thimble size, you know, dead small. Um, and it's really, really good for just a bit of attractant um, as it goes through and then possibly like feeding maggots or whatever over the top for those roach. But obviously a bit more to come in that in a coming up video. So there you go, really, really simple running Paternoster rig, which is perfect for today's modern commercial fisheries. It just means that you stay within those fishery rules so that anything does go wrong you can you've got the free running rig and it doesn't tether the fish obviously with using barbless hooks as well it means that 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 can be shaken clear nice and easily which is really really good so there we go give it a go get out on the bank and i hope to see you out there trying it giving it a go very very soon take care